Hello, it's story number two time. So this one time, Billy Joe was doing that show on Broadway with Michael Moore. And we found out about it and we decided, let's go there. Um, me and my bestie, Sean, over here. Say Sean. Say hi, Sean. <laughs> Not Sean. Don't say Sean. Well, you could say Sean. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, me and this flamingo over here, we flew to New York City. He didn't personally fly us. We took a plane. Um, yeah. And so when we got there, I met up with some people um, that I knew but hadn't met yet, like Fallon. It was awesome. She was determined to give these Pop-Tarts to Billy Joe, and I still don't know why, but it was really funny and it was really awesome. Um, and then also I think I met Amanda that day for the first time. I met Katerina. And I think even Beffy that day, but I'm not sure. I don't remember who was there. There's a lot of people there. Um, but yeah, we stood outside for a while and we were waiting for the show to start. And we were hoping that before the show, we would see Billy Joe walk in or something. So we could like get autographs or say, hey, whatever. Um, well, we saw Michael Moore walk in and it was like maybe like three or four. The show was at seven. Um Michael Moore just walked right up to the door. So I actually ended up asking him for a picture and took a goofy picture with him. I don't really know why, but I just did. And here's that. Oh, yeah, and I had really green hair at the time, too. Um, yeah, so that happened. That was a thing. Um, then we just waved around some more for Billy Joe. And you know me, I have to pee all the time. So I found this cafe like next door right there where I went to the bathroom the whole entire time I was there I went there at least three times and they let me use the bathroom keep note of that that's an important key factor of this whole thing so yeah um the show the, some really mean evil security guard was there and she came outside and told us that if we weren't in the show on time then we weren't going to be allowed in the show so half of us decided well are we going to stay out here and wait and see if we see billy joe or are we going to go into the show are we going to you know we either miss the show or don't miss the show um so i think a lot of us decided to just stay outside and take take a chance um so we did that and while we're waiting outside, all of a sudden, Mike Dirnt and his wife just run by us. And we're like, Mike, Mike. And I was like, Mike, will you stop and take a picture with us? He's like, not going to happen, guys. We're already late to a show. And we were like, oh. And he, he said he loved us or something like that. We were like, we love you. And he was like, thanks. Um, but they just ran by. But we were like, whoa. It's like a glimmer of hope or something. Um, but it got to be about, like, eight o'clock and I had to pee at this point since like 6 30 but I didn't want to leave because I thought hey my luck if I leave I'm gonna miss something so I'm just gonna stay right here until I know it's safe so it got to be like 8 30 after and then I was like mm, okay the show already started if Billy Joe was gonna come in this way he would have already and he hasn't so I'm gonna go pee now because I'm gonna say it's safe to say that I not gonna miss anything so I go to that cafe next door where I usually was going to the bathroom all day long and they told me no and I was like but I've been using it all day and they're like no no just try that place next door and I was like okay so I walked to the place next door and then the same thing only where they were like no before I even walked in they're paying customers only because it was like this fancy restaurant and they knew like I was not going to eat there so I was like okay so I went one more down down one more and uh, same thing no we don't have a public restroom I'm like oh my god this is, this is gonna be awful it's New York City so I walked a, a couple more blocks not blocks a couple more feet basically just a little bit further and I see people walking out of like a theater or something that they were coming out of a show and I was like oh I can pretend I was in the show and I can go to the bathroom so I just like ran into this crowd of people and then all of a sudden as I literally said in my head oh it's a show I can pretend I was there and go to the bathroom my brain went show and I stopped in my tracks, just like stopped. And I looked to my left, my left, whatever. I looked that way. 
And literally Mike Dirt and his wife were right there. And I was like, oh my God. So of course the bathroom had to wait a little bit longer now. I, um, so I did this. I didn't want to bombard them or like go up to them. So I stopped and then like ran towards the door where I knew they were like gonna go towards. And I like stood there, but I stood like way back here. And I was like waiting for them to like walk that way. And they, they started walking that way. And I was like, hey, you guys. And Brittany, his wife, she kind of turned around a little bit. And I was like, can I get a picture with you, please? And like, just like that, like I was holding my dress and like, kind of like a shy little kid. And um, Brittany laughed. And then Mike was like, all right, just one picture. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And then, so I walked up to them and then Mike took the phone from me because I was literally shaking and um he takes this picture and mind you before this too like Brittany was trying to stand off to the side and like Mike just take a picture with me and I was like no you too and she was like you want me in the picture too and I was like yeah I love you guys and Mike was like Brick get over here get over here so we took the picture and I was like a nervous wreck still shaking like freaking out the whole time and Brittany was like I like your dress like she was kind of talking to me while we were taking this picture but the picture came out pretty bad and Mike Dirt like this is the thing about him if you don't know this now you do he is the selfie king he's really good at taking selfies plus he's really tall and all this stuff so after he took this bad picture he just automatically knew it was bad so he was like hold on hold on and he moved us to better lighting like we moved up a couple feet there was like this nice light up there and he was like right turn this way like position us so we could get a good picture because he's the nicest guy ever and then he took that really good picture and it looks like this So, yeah. And then I was like, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. I'm just, I was mad at myself. And I'm always mad at myself after I meet the people I love because I don't ever say anything. Like, I, I could have told him, like, he was the greatest ever. And I didn't. I just said, thank you so much. And he's like, yeah. And then he, they walked off. I and mean, I was literally the only person to, like, stop and talk to them the whole entire night. I felt awful because I walked back to my friends. All I did was leave to go to the bathroom. And these guys were all sitting outside missing the show, too, and hoping for something. And I walked back shaking, like, you guys, don't be mad at me, but I just met Mike Dern. And, of course, everyone's awesome, so they were really happy for me anyway. But I still felt bad. And, uh, like, I want all my friends to just have the happy moments too um but yeah so that's how that night went down um we stayed outside all night and just hung out it was actually really fun regardless of anything like we all just talked and hung out and we waited after the show until like midnight midnight 30 something like that and nothing happened we were just hanging out but it was really cool um so yeah that's the first time i met mike Dern.